Morgan is a steel roller coaster manufacturing company that is known for producing hyper coasters, and they haven't quite produced enough roller coasters in the United States to make a top 10 video, so instead this is a top 5. Now out of the handful of roller coasters built by this company, they all share some pretty similar characteristics. Most all of them have similar stats, they're all around the same height, around the same track length. They're generally not considered the smoothest roller coasters, and they're considered inferior to the B&M hyper coasters. And that's the other thing, most of these are all hyper coasters, they have no inversions, they're mostly airtime hills. But even though they're not as good as the B&Ms, they're still good rides. At all of these parks where these coasters are from, they're all considered the largest in the park. A lot of the times, the most thrilling. So I'm going to waste no time into getting right into it. Number 5 is Steel Eel at SeaWorld San Antonio. Unlike the others, which are hyper coasters, this one isn't even 200 feet. But though it's smaller, it still has the same qualities as all of these other hyper coasters. It's known for having lots of airtime hills, goes pretty fast, and it's also a long ride. And actually, one of the things I think is really cool about this roller coaster is how the drop runs right up against the lake, so the setting for this coaster is actually really cool. Next on the list is Steel Force at Dorney Park. Like Steel Eel, this coaster is all about the airtime hills, and this coaster is actually very, very similar to another coaster which is in this countdown, the Mamba, which will come later. Making the top three is Wild Thing at Valley Fair. This coaster is just two feet taller than Steel Force, and the other thing that sets it apart is that it has this massive helix that goes around. And the color scheme for this coaster is actually really cool. I love that color green with the black. And number two is the Mamba. I hope you are looking at the stats for Steel Force because notice how they are very, very similar to Mambas. Dorney Park and Worlds of Fun are sister parks and the parks are very similar and these coasters are very similar. Cedar Fair put them in right around the same time. So what could be number one? Phantom's Revenge at Kennywood. Now, for those of you who watch my videos, you'll notice that this one also made the Aerodynamics Top 10 Countdown. Allow me to explain why. This coaster originally was Steel Phantom and was built by Aerodynamics. It had several inversions and had a pretty different layout. However, Morgan came in and gave this coaster a redo. So part of this coaster is Aerodynamics, but most of it is Morgan. And of course, the one thing about this coaster that everyone talks about is how the second drop is bigger than the first one because of that terrain that Kennywood has. So this is a really cool roller coaster, and that is also why the stats are so different than the other ones, because this wasn't a an original Morgan. But nonetheless, it is still a phenomenal ride and I've ranked it as the number one Morgan coaster on this list. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Post your comments below about your thoughts on this video and do me a favor, make sure to give this video a big ol' thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, then make sure to subscribe. A shout out goes to all of those who sent in some of the photos that were used in this video. If you're interested in having some of your photos used in one of my videos, check out the description for further instructions. If you'd like to go further in depth with Coaster Studios, like the Coaster Studios Facebook page for interactive discussions and behind the scenes footage. You can also check me out on Twitter. Until next time, Coaster fans, until next time.